Interstate 70 in Indiana is proving to be a dangerous place to drive. This after several accidents claimed lives in very, very bad crashes. News 10's Patsy Kelly has tips to keep you safe on the interstate. There's been a number of accidents on Interstate 70 in the past month. Many of them were fatal. So we took to the streets to find out what exactly is so dangerous about this highway. We noticed there were three main issues while driving. Indiana State Police Trooper Hans Novak says on a recent police airplane detail, they looked for speeding drivers. What they found were eight speeders in three hours they were able to pull over. On a normal day, Trooper Novak says he could stop between six and eight speeding vehicles on a short stretch of I-70. When lights are flashing on construction work zone signs, the speed limit is 45 miles per hour. But when traffic is down to one lane, I-70 can get a little congested. We've been driving down the highway about a mile now, and we've been going 45 miles per hour. But if you check out behind me, you'll notice these people don't seem to be too happy. If you use the three-second rule in regards to tailgating, you choose an object up ahead on the roadside. When the car in front of you passes it, start counting. You should pass that object no sooner than three seconds before the vehicle in front of you. When driving at 45 miles per hour, this usually adds up to around 198 feet. Distracted driving was prevalent wherever we drove. Food, drink, phone calls, all of these added up to one thing. One big distraction. At one point, it caused me to hit the skids on the side of the road. The biggest thing I got out of this experiment was no one is free from the dangers of the road, but we can prevent them. Following the laws of the lanes and paying attention to the vehicles around mine can make the difference between life and death and keeping your family safe. In Vigo County with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Patsy Kelly, News 10. Now to see those tips again, look for Patsy's story on our website, WTHITV.com.